Geography Studies with Animal Buddies, written and illustrated by Vashti Days. Sit right down and put up your feet. I'll tell you a tale about good foods to eat. You'll also meet my animal buddies from my worldly culinary studies. In Canada, I met a caribou. She told me that her name was Sue. I sat and joined her as she ate blueberry crepes, plate after plate. Iceland is chilly, as the puffins all know. I stopped there to see their variety show. They served cakes with whipped cream topping as they sang and danced and did lots of hopping. I went to England and met a small fox who sadly had a case of fox pox, but since it was not contagious to me, I joined her for kidney pie and cream tea. While ballooning in France, a flamingo flew by. His plumage was pink and so was his tie. He informed me that he was going to bake a deliciously rich chocolate mousse cake. I came across an eagle in Spain who invited me in out of the rain. She prepared me a taco to have for lunch with a basket of chips and salsa to munch. In Italy, I saw the Colosseum in Rome. An ibex was there. His name was Jerome. We sat in an open air cafe and ate marzipan cookies all through the day. Skiing in Switzerland, I stopped for lunch. At the lodge, a chamois was preparing a brunch. With creamy milk chocolates and cheese fondue, I took lots of nibbles, at least 22. Watching the tortoise in Greece at the grill, skewer lamb shish kebabs was a great thrill. She tossed the Greek salad high up in the air and giggled a little when it landed in my hair. One day in Nigeria, I met a constrictor. He was very well-mannered and his name was Victor. He wore a cool hat and garment of blue and set a table with gari and red stew. While on a safari in Kenya, I met a nearsighted rhino whose name was Rhett. When I asked him what he had to eat, he rustled up some smoked goat's meat. Riding through Egypt on a camel's back, I stopped at an oasis and opened our sack. Inside were stuffed grape leaves, hummus, and bread. Then we took a cool dip, feeling very well fed. In Israel, I visited a jungle cat. Shalom was printed on her welcome mat. Stirring matzah balls with chicken in a pot, she asked if I wanted a little or a lot. Journeying through India, I met a peacock who was searching for snails in a pile of rock. When I mentioned that snails weren't my cup of tea, he invited me to share his chicken curry. I rode through Russia on the back of a truck. The driver was a big black bear named Chuck. I'd like to have you for supper, he said, but instead he ate some borscht and black bread. In Japan, I saw a Komodo dragon riding about in a bamboo wagon. He seemed quite friendly and asked me to dine on beef teriyaki and a cup of rice wine. Traipsing through China, I saw a big panda. She wore a silk hat and her name was Amanda. She gave me some chopsticks, but I had no luck using them on egg rolls and Peking duck. In Malaysia, I sat reading a paper when I happened to meet a sweet little taper. She offered to mix up a salad of fruit. I thought to impress her and wore my best suit. In Australia, I toured the Great Outback and met a platypus whose name was Jack. He invited me to share his dish of rock oysters and grilled white fish. 
In New Zealand, I dined on a rack of lamb with a kiwi who insisted I address her as ma'am. She stuck her beak high up in the air and served up the potatoes with obvious flair. To Brazil I flew in a large white jet and met a lovely marmoset. She served me pork and black bean stew. She said, I love this stuff, don't you? At a bullfight in Mexico I happened to meet a very woolly llama with shoes on her feet. We dined on tamales by the light of the moon while listening to lively Mexican tunes. Now that my world travels are over, I'm back in the States with my pet dog Rover. You can see that he's just getting ready to make mashed potatoes and gravy and a T-bone steak. <laughs>